Roxy has been learning to hold for some time, so I'm going to do this with a novel item just to show you how I would start off. And the first thing I would do is just click the dog for putting their nose near it. Usually if you hold something out to your dog, they will investigate it with their nose. And that would be my first step with this little trick. So after the next step is to withhold the click a little bit to see what the dog does next. A lot of the time they'll start to open their mouth, which is what Roxy did. Good girl. And then you can start to click them for putting, for opening their mouth and having the item very briefly in their mouth. So for the video, I was using a sock, but actually a sock is quite squashy and it's probably not a great retrieve article if you're wanting your dog to hold their mouth still because it'll encourage them to, to chew on it because it's so nice and soft and squashy. A better article is something like this. This is a paint roller and it's, it is really good. Anybody that's been watching my videos of Cooling and Roxy, my little 365 days of learning videos. We've been using this for Cooling and I started using this for Roxy as well because although it is soft on the outside, it's not squashy, it's got a hard middle, so it's it's quite nice. But now Roxy and I are using a wooden, an old wooden spoon we're using and that's helping her get a little bit of duration. So once you get that, the dog putting their mouth around the article, you can start to then very gradually in increments of less than a second, you are talking about building up a fraction of a second at a time, but you can start to build up the, the, the more time that they hold the article. And if you're wanting them to be holding it still, you want to try and click when their mouth is still. And, and if you've been watching my videos, what you'll see that I've been doing with Roxy as well is getting her to do a chin rest and then giving her the article. Because if she does a chin rest, she's used to having her mouth still when she does that. So it's just helping to build up. Those are the steps that I would generally go through to teach a, to teach a proper hold. So I, I did it with Coolin when he was when he was a puppy and he is still re relatively good with hold. I don't do any dog sports where it's necessary, so it's not something I've really kept on top of. But it's a nice it's a nice little training exercise to play around with and see how far you can get with. So do let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.